Remember when Valve put in lots of time and effort to rework these pistols to make them a viable choice amongst the nuanced gameplay of Counter-Strike Global Offensive? Mm. Yeah, we don't use them anymore. Greetings, hi, the War Owl greets you. If you've watched professionals playing Counter-Strike any time in the last whenever, you've probably noticed that the vast majority of them are choosing to equip the CZ-75 Auto, which from henceforward I shall refer to as the CZ. No, not the CZ. America won the major, you gotta use our words now, baby. Anyway, before you downvote this video, I gotta teach you how to use the CZ. The CZ cost 500 and is interchangeable with the 5.7 and the Tech 9. When doing a precision test, the CZ is worse than every other pistol when it comes to first shot accuracy. It also has the least reliable recoil pattern. It also carries a total of only two magazines of ammo and takes considerably longer to draw when switching weapons. Oh yeah, it also does less damage than the 5.7 and the Tech 9. Oh yeah, it also only gives a $100 kill reward. So on paper, you'd have to be an idiot to use it. So why does everyone use the CZ? It's automatic. Being the only automatic pistol in the game, you can deal a huge amount of damage in a very short amount of time at a very low cost. But be careful, because if you don't know how to use it properly, you can very quickly waste all of your ammo. With the CZ, ammo conservation is key. With the CZ, the 5.7 is dead. With the CZ-75, stupid ass random gameplay is alive. I will stop now. At first glance, it may seem like the CZ-75 is completely random, darting back and forth up and down, but that's not how automatic weapons work in Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Every weapon has an oscillating horizontal frequency and a gradual vertical climb. What makes the CZ so difficult to pin down is the high degree of inaccuracy, something called variance. It's an unreliable weapon. The variance itself is more noticeable than the recoil pattern. If you want to get technical, it starts off going slightly to the right and slightly upward. On the fourth shot, it starts to go back to the left again. Then on the seventh shot, it starts to go back to the right again. All of this is so damned subtle that I don't recommend even trying to control it at all for the first five shots. Unless you're a magical creature that can pull down by like a pixel when there's all kinds of shooting and nonsense going on, what you should do is start to pull down slightly after the fifth shot. Speed up how fast you pull it down and then start pulling it to the left for the ninth shot onward. The last four shots are very noticeable. They will always go much higher and to the right. I ran the CZ through a number of tests to definitively determine how you should use the weapon at different ranges. At distances of 512 units and lower, which is the exact distance from the box and B tunnels to the B site entrance on Dust 2, the weapon got a one-hit headshot when tap shooting 92% of the time. It was also very easy to control the recoil of the weapon to almost always hit the player, even when moving. The movement and accuracy of the weapon wasn't as noticeable as it was with others. The CZ-75 Auto has the exact same fire rate as the AK-47 and does nearly the same amount of damage, which makes it almost as effective as the AK-47 at these distances, at a $2,200 discount of course. When going full auto, you can go for the first shot headshot and then pull down for the second shot and control the recoil for the rest of the magazine. The CZ is also only a one-hit headshot against helmet when you stick it directly into the mouth of your opponent, which is quite difficult to pull off, so it usually makes sense to go for the headshot and then finish the player off with a body shot, or just spam the body. Hey there babe, I'd like to spam your body. <laughs> Ugh. The precision of the weapon drops off significantly from 512 units to 768 units, which is the distance from short A to ramp on Dust 2. Here, it only gets a one-tap headshot 58% of the time. So at this distance, tap shooting isn't perfect, but it starts to become your only option. It can take the entire magazine of 12 rounds with perfect aim and perfect control to kill the enemy player. And even then, the randomness will sometimes rob you of your kill. Because you only get two magazine of 12 rounds, you can very easily waste all of your ammo trying to kill a player at this distance. Sometimes it is worth using all of your ammo to just take out one guy, especially if they're bought up. 
but as you get even further away, I don't even recommend engaging at all. But if you're forced to, you should probably conserve your ammo and just go for tap shots. It became very clear when testing that the CZ-75 Auto is incredibly effective at close range, but very quickly falls off in effectiveness as the range is increased. The mentality of a CZ player should be as follows. Be very sneaky and passive until you engage the player at close range, and then explode. Be as aggressive as you possibly can. Unload that thing. The CZ is primarily used against buying players. This can be on buy rounds when you can't afford a rifle or an SMG, on force buy rounds, or on light buy rounds where your team is only spending a small amount of money to make sure that they can buy up on the next round. The purpose of the CZ is to catch a fully bought player off guard up close kill him with its ridiculously high damage output, and then steal his weapon. Because you're up close, stealing his weapon is obviously easier, and because the ammo capacity is low, you'll want to get a different weapon anyway. It's elegant. Here's one of the best players in the world doing just that. Always pay close attention to your ammo count with the CZ, or this will happen. Effective use of the CZ requires good map knowledge. On CT side, there are many areas where you can wait around corners to engage close up, boost players into stupid positions, or even use the smoke grenades that the enemy has thrown. On T side, it's far more difficult. Some maps in some positions just aren't any good for the CZ. This requires smokes, flashes, and Molotovs to force the enemy to engage close up. But consider that with the CZ being an eco-round equalizer, you're probably not going to have very much utility at all. Another use for the CZ is as a sidearm to the AWP. Here is one of the best AWPers of all time specifically requesting one during the grand final of a major event. And here he is actually using it. The benefit to this is that the AWP is dangerous to use at close distances, especially when you don't have cover. If you miss, you're probably gonna die, and even if you hit it and there's more than one enemy there, you're still probably gonna die. So AWP players will switch to the CZ in these specific circumstances. The negative to this is the long draw time of the CZ. If players are pushing you, you gotta pull the thing out. It takes forever, which is why I personally use the P250 for this task, but to each his own. Much has been done by the developers over the years to nerf the CZ-75. It has at many points been a completely overpowered weapon. This has led it to possess the unique properties it has today, and the very specific role of a close-range eco-equalizer. With the recent pistols rework focusing on making the weapons more skill-based, it's very interesting that a weapon like the CZ has remained untouched. And it's very unfortunate that the most random weapon has become meta. While it's true that it takes a very good player to master the CZ, the shooting mechanics of the weapon possess great randomness, which certainly doesn't equate to a skill-based game. Nonetheless, the CZ is currently part of the standard meta, so you're probably gonna have to learn how to use it. Thanks for watching, I'm the War Owl, and I still have no closer. All right, is everyone gone? Is it just you and me? Valve's probably gonna patch it now that I made a video about it.